What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. Today is day 16 of our Whiskey Advent Calendar. Thank you guys so much for joining us, especially if you've watched all this content up till now. 16 days in a row is a lot to listen to me, so I appreciate the support. I appreciate the likes, the comments, um, and sub. Hey, if you're watching this and you like the channel, subscribe. We appreciate it. All right, today we are reviewing Maker's Mark Private Selection. This is a Benny store pick uh, I wanted to share with you guys. Five, it has five baked American pure staves, two Maker's Mark 46 staves, and two roasted French mocha staves. Um, proof on this is 111.8, and uh, just as a date, March of 2020. All right, let's get into this, guys. You know, Maker's Mark hasn't been my favorite. I don't know know why, but just nothing they do really, really like blows me away. Um, but honestly, I have not had this, so I poured it and shared it with our Patreons for their, the ones who got Advent calendars. And uh, so this is my first taste of it. So the first thing I get right away on this, and I get it on all of these Maker Mark, Maker's Mark, like, you know, the Maker's Mark 46, anything with the staves in it, I instantly get uh, like a musty wood note, almost like a moldy wood note. And that note really stands out for me. It's not crafty note, it's almost like a dank wood note, but it's too much. Um, and it's almost like artificial. It's like, you know, you, you just can't, you can't duplicate that time in the barrel, which I know that's what Maker's Mark's trying to do is impart some flavors with these staves. To me, I just get these these like it's too much dank wood it's too much of that like wet wood smell for me um, I like it in older bourbons when it's just a hint of it and I can tell the age but to me it always I don't know I don't know if it's because I know that it's artificial I probably need to taste some Maker's Mark in blinds and see if I have the same reaction to it uh, this so this is 111 proof so we're looking at a pretty high proof uh, sticks to the glass really well you know, you guys know or probably know this is a weeded, weeded mash bill. All right, uh, let's see what else do I smell in here. I got carried away with the with the dank wood. Uh, let's see, I smell vanilla in there, caramel, typical typical bourbon notes. Uh, and I think I'm getting some apple notes in there. Hmm, I am getting like a. It's like a, there's like a nice vanilla note in there. I'm not sure what that is. If that's like, like a, like whipped cream or something, which is kind of nice. It's just kind of getting overpowered by this musty note. All right, let's go in for the taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah, right away. You know, typical bourbon notes, caramel, vanilla. It has that mustiness on the taste too. Not as bad as in some bottles I've had of Maker's Mark. Um, some it's really strong. You know, people rave about these um, these stave staves in here, but I don't know. It's bitter to me. Has a good finish, has a good hug. There's a lot of proof there. <laughs> really good hug, really good finish on it. Um, to me, my brain just sticks on that mustiness from the staves. Um, there's just something artificial about it that I do not like. It's like you're trying to cheat time in the barrel. Let's, let me go in for one more sip here. Mustiness, cherry. I got I got good cherry note there. Um, yeah, and caramel, little brown sugar. Uh, that's really all I'm getting on this. Thought I got a chocolate note, but I'm wonder. I was I was sitting there trying to think. Am I am I thinking chocolate because it said mocha staves, or is there? Am I really getting a chocolate note? I could see a little, like a little milk chocolate note there. 
if I'm thinking about it and power of suggestion. But I do get the cherry and the caramel and just that mustiness. And, and the mustiness isn't bad, but it's something that my brain just latches onto. It's kind of like when I drink craft whiskey and, uh, and I hit those craft notes and I can't get it out of my mind. That's the same thing here, but it's not a craft note. It's like a dank wood note. Um, and to me, that's what I always get on these Maker's Mark 46 and anything with the staves in it. And they're all just okay to me, but nothing special. I think this bottle was 65 or $70. And to me, there's so much better whiskey out there. But if you're a Maker's Mark fan, please comment below. Let me know what notes are you getting out of this. Are, do you get that same musty note that I get that kind of turns me off? Or am I crazy? So, <laughs> all right, guys, moving on to day uh, 17. Cheers. Cheers.